Hello, Cindy here. I'm just realizing. Okay, good. <laughs> My head was cut off. So, how are you guys? I'm excited to be here today. <clears throat> if you are in America, then you are um, either, you know, probably preparing for Thanksgiving or you're traveling somewhere or you're not due to restrictions of a pandemic. So I'm, I feel called to do this, um, do this really special live stream, Facebook live, um, to support you guys around letting go of control, because I feel like this time of year can feel funky, you know, it can, and, you know, especially with what's happening in the world currently, um, it's, you know, it's easy in your dating life to start to have these, you know, expectations and forcing things and, you know, wanting things to go a certain way. And there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to show you some things that happen when we're operating from a place of control, because when operating from a place of the need to control and a need to have things your way or a certain way, it, well, there's a couple of things. It's very masculine energy. It's very, you know, make it happen energy which is the opposite of feminine, which is allowing, receiving. And what it does is fear is the opposite of love. And you're, you really want love. You really want to create attraction and love in your lives. So the, you know, so, so the, the, the control piece is actually the is resistance inside of your heart too. That is, you know, there's there's this voice in your head that's telling you, oh, it should be a certain way, or maybe it should look a certain way by now, and it's not happening, and there's this this frustration, quite possibly, or it's things aren't happening soon enough. Maybe you're dating someone or you're just getting to know someone and you're, you're feeling all the feels, but it doesn't feel like it's progressing in the manner that you want it to. And what happens oftentimes is when we try to force something, it pushes it away. It always pushes it away. It has the equal and opposite reaction. And if when you are, you know, you are creating love, you want love in your life, you want to have a great connection and partnership, especially if you're here on my page, and you want to show up from that place. But there's this feeling of, you know, I see, I see women sit, in, in two camps, oftentimes, it's the, you know, it's the, you know, I don't, I don't want to be a doormat. I want, you know, things need to be this and this and this way, or they start to get critical of the man and, you know, shut him down before even opening up and giving him a chance, you know, giving him a chance which, you know, he could be a good match or they get to a, even get to a certain point and it's not going in their mind like it should. Like they, they think, oh, you know, he should be calling me every day or he should be, he should be, he should be doing this. But it's, you know, who's to say that? And when you let go of control, and let go of ha putting your focus on him and you turn it back to you because your happiness doesn't lie in the hands of someone else. 
your uh, fulfillment doesn't lie in the hands of a man. Now, do you want love? Do you want partnership? Yes. And if you are in a relationship and you're feeling a little stuck, do you want to enhance it? Yes. You're, you're, you still don't want to put that responsibility onto someone else because men feel that. So letting go of control, part of that is feeling safe within yourself. It's knowing that you're safe and knowing that, um, knowing that no matter what happens, you're going to be okay. And when you start feeling fear, it's, you know, I, I would invite you to look at, okay, so the opposite of, of fear is love. The opposite of fear is love. So if I want to embrace love, I get to let go of my fear. So a couple of things to ask yourself is, what am I afraid of? And, and, and if I am afraid, I'm in a lack of place. I'm afraid that there's not enough love. There's not a man for me. Somebody's not going to show up for me. And that's part of wanting to take control. So it's, and, and when you learn that you're safe and secure with yourself and that no matter what happens with this guy, and this isn't about being a doormat or making excuses for somebody, you know, if he's not showing up and, you know, he said really great things, but his actions aren't following that, okay, observe. And you get to not put your energy there, but put your energy back into you and also connecting with other people because, ladies, this is the very best time to open yourself up to dating even in a pandemic, because there's a couple things going on out there. <clears throat> One, it's the holiday time. And between now and, at, you know, even through Valentine's Day, February, it's the time where single people start to think and, you know, think about this on a deeper level. If And they probably have during... <clears throat> during this pandemic time, most of the time they have. And so they start to take stock of their life. Men do this too. What do I want? What do I want to create? Um, many people are ready to say goodbye to 2020 and hello to 2021. And um, so they're recommitting. They're getting on the dating apps. There are you know, wanting to meet and connect with someone, they call it cuffing season, right? So knowing that you're safe inside and that no matter what, you're going to attract in what it is you desire. So you get to focus more on what you desire than what is not happening. And in light of Thanksgiving, I, the other thing to do is, is think about what am I grateful for and say, I am, you know, I'm a, I'm the, you know, reflection and likeness of God. I am, you know, I am grateful for, um, my health. I am grateful for great friends. I'm grateful for my family. You know, I am grateful for the richness that I have in my life. And, you know, many people talk about gratitude. I invite you to really feel it and embody where you're at right now. Because oftentimes, part of wanting to control things is not being you know, not being connected to the journey and wanting the outcome. 
So you might be going, oh, I just want the man. I want to have the cozy fire. I want everything. And part, what the beauty is, is truly embodying that journey. So you will be grateful for the people that you encounter along the way, rather than, you know, if you go out on a date and it doesn't feel like a match going, oh, that was a waste of time. So I would invite you to one, look at ways that you can feel safe within yourself. And two, if you do go out on a date, it doesn't feel like a match. Look for the gift in that connection. Look for something that you learned and enjoy the process. So that is that is super key and you know you might be going okay Cindy this is easier said than done at times and you know I feel like too a lot of times if you know as women I see it all the time they get into perfectionist mode like I need to be a certain way or act a certain way the more embodied you are in your authentic self and being you and being happy and being vulnerable and vulnerable might look like I'm really nervous right now or I just you know I I feel really you know I feel really weird dating during the holidays or it feels awkward to me or you know it's it's just opening yourself up so that someone can see you. Someone can see your heart. Someone can see who you are, not just the, you know, amazing woman that you are on the outside, but what, you know, what's underneath the hood. And think about, you know, so, and, you know, a lot of times, we, if we haven't shown up perfectly or, you know, we've, we've, we've tried to force things and we've pushed someone away, I'm going to invite you to forgive yourself for that and, and look at the blessing that's on the other side of that. So that is the key. Now, how does this, you might be asking, well, how does this inspire a man to show up for me? So when you're taking your eyes off him, and you're putting your eyes on yourself, and you're thinking about what, what can I do to make me happy? What brings me joy? The, a man feels that. It's, and, you know, there's a difference between taking your eyes off of him or saying you're taking your eyes off of a man and being in waiting energy. Men feel that. It's kind of like saying, I'm super positive and I'm super happy, but there's negativity and resentment over positivity. You can feel the difference. You can kind of feel the difference if somebody's angry or it, and you know, it's a lot of times as women, we haven't always given ourselves permission or know how to process our feelings. So from that space, um, you know, think about when women say, you know, you've probably heard people say, oh, I gave up on looking for love or I gave up on dating. And the next thing you know, I met the love of my life and I'm so happy. I can't believe this. Well, why does that happen? Because then there are other women or other people that do that and it doesn't work. So there's a difference in the energy. If somebody truly says, I'm giving up on dating or, you know, I'm not going to put myself out there that way, then they, um, then there's an energy of acceptance as to where they are and happiness in their life as it is. And they are doing things in their life that bring them joy and typically 
that is where they invite that person in. It's just, that's, that's the way the law of attraction works. And if you go into it, like I'm giving up dating, you know, all men are jerks or, you know, whatever your thought process is, then what happens is you guys, it's, it's, it's still the same energy of repelling because you're in you're you're in the waiting energy because the back of your mind you're like I really really want to bring somebody in and there's still that expectant or waiting energy which can be entitlement too. So, um, the and you know remember we can't shift we can't shift we can't change something with the same energy or frequency that we created it albert einstein said that so when you go to this energy of trust and you know the brain and the body will will do everything it can to go back to its comfort zone which would be not trusting not allowing um you know, staying in that safe place of control, then, um, you know, you, you get to then allow yourself, you know, re, you know, it's just like, it's like doing anything. It's, it's like doing a new exercise routine, getting in the habit of doing something different. It's inviting yourself to enjoy the process. So something to ask yourself as you're embodying this way of being, the, the question I would ask myself is, am I operating out of fear right now? Am I operating out of fear? And just yes or no. And then if, if you are operating out of fear, then how can I get into love? How can I, how can I trust? And just say, I trust the universe has my back. I trust good things are coming to me. I, you know, and, and your brain will start to look for evidence of all of the great things, all of the gold that's around you. Okay. So by letting go, and allowing yourself to focus on you and when he shows up, because he will, um, you know, if you're dating, you're joyfully receptive. You're joyfully receptive. And that creates a new connection and a new energy anyway. And if you're like, oh gosh, how are you? What are you doing? Thanksgiving. Awesome. He is going to be so attracted to you and wanting to show up and spend time with you, which is what you want. And the energy from you is giving him affirmation that you love that. You love to spend time with him. And you're not bringing your past into your present because when we're in that negative control energy we are oftentimes in this place of well this jerk cheated on me this this guy didn't show up or this guy was like this i'm afraid this guy is going to show up this way so when we do that we have that heavy energy so you get to choose to let that go and be in trust and you know, there's other exercises that I offer and I give my clients to, and I'll be happy to take you on a, a little path of, of a letting go journey another time. But I would love to hear in the comments too, is this helping you? Just put, yes, this helps. And if you have any questions that come up, let me know. So it's the affirmation and also communication and communicating from a place of love. Like, oh gosh, you know, when you're with them, 
I am so, so enjoying our time together. You know, it feels so great to be with you in the holidays and, you know, selfishly I've been daydreaming about, you know, thinking about how much fun it would be to spend some time together over this holiday or over Christmas at, you know, one of, you know, one of our relatives' houses and, you know, I see us sitting next to the fire with hot apple cider and we're laughing and we're talking and no matter what's going on around us, we're in this just fun little safe, fun little bubble of of just creating our own joy no matter what's going on outside of us and I mean do you feel that it's it's you know communicating that way and again if it doesn't happen you're not attached to it and typically a man's gonna be like yeah that really sounds like fun because we all have stuff we all have kind of family-ish drama so when you when you come from that place of, of joy and gratitude, you're going to create that, you know, connection between him. It's like, and think about things that might, if, if you start feeling anxious about something, like, you know, I, I've done early Christmas shopping this year. There's all these Black Friday specials, right? And I noticed I had ordered something over a week ago and I haven't received it yet. And I thought, oh, that's weird. And I went in the space of, you know, what if it doesn't show up, what if this? And instead of, you know, I, you know, I did look at the, it, everything's fine. But when we go into that space of lack, or not trusting or, you know, kind of getting obsessed about well, when's it going to show up? I want to, you know, I want to make sure X, Y, Z and letting go of control. Then you can allow, you actually make space in your heart to receive more, receive more of love, receive a man showing up to provide for you. And, you know, um, as women, we naturally, we're the creators, we inspire, we embody, we, um, you know, we allow, and we are receptive. And as a, a, the male energy is, you know, make it happen, provide, um, you know, take care of. So when you show up from the place of, receptivity rather than you know have you found yourself taking things over because you want it to be done a certain way but allowing for instead I would invite you to allow for things to come in and trust that it's going to happen exactly as it should so this is it I hope this supported you today. I'm sending you so much love. If you are, um, if you happen to be on YouTube and you like this video, please give me a subscribe and a like so you can get access to weekly videos that I share. Um, two, if you have any love questions, you can, uh, you can send me a text to 424-266-8385. And I will answer your questions. So 424-266-8385. And down below, we will have a link to my um, How to Meet Your Soulmate in 30 Days or Less. And, a, and you will also, um, I lost my train of thought, but, but, also, we'll have the number listed below so that you can ask me anything you like um, as it relates to your love life. And let me support you. Let me help you to really create the richest, most happiest love life ever.
sorry, my screen is doing weird things. If you're on Instagram, so good to see you guys, sending you so much love, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Also, um, I've got something really exciting coming up um, for the after Thanksgiving Black Friday holiday season to treat yourself with and really activate your love life and attract and keep lasting love once and for all. So I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to share it with you. Mwah. See you soon. Bye.